Hi, I'm Ashley. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm cleaning the inside of my car. Firstly, I want to say I'm no detailer at all. Um, I'm not professional, but I do enjoy a good cleaning session. With that being said, let's get into it. So to make things easier for myself, I always put the roof down and all the windows down so that I don't hit my head or anything. Here's a quick before. I did leave my windows down at the beach so that everything is covered in sand. All the dash, the seats, a little bit on the floor and there is just a general build up of dust and dirt from the last month or so. I don't really keep anything in my car so it's pretty tidy, it's just dirty. So I'm just going to take out anything that I need to, my phone cable, my shoes, the toy rabbit and a little tripod that I keep in there too. And now to start actually cleaning. I'm hoovering all the carpets and the seats, starting from the passenger side and then round the back finishing at the driver's side footwell. I don't have any floor mats so it is just the carpets that I have to clean. When I'm doing the seats, I make sure to push down on all the seams to really get in there and suck up all the crap that gets stuck in all the little crevices. I'm using a shop vac I got in B Q for 20 quid. What a bargain. It's a bit stronger than my Shark Hoover and it can be used on wet or dry, which is why I use it for my car. Usually I'd use a carpet cleaning solution, brush it in and agitate the dirt and then hoover it up and then spray down a bit of water and hoover that up to make sure the cleaner's out but my carpets and seats are actually coming up pretty clean with just a good hoover so I'm going to skip that step today. I also like to make sure to get the back of the seats because my hair gets everywhere and there was definitely loads stuck to the back of the seat. Also when you're doing seats and carpets you want to make sure to put the seat all the way back when you're doing the front of the seat and then all the way forwards when you're doing behind the seat if that makes sense. <laughs> so you can really get underneath the seat and get all the crap that's hidden under there. Now all the seats and carpets are done, it's time to move on to the dash. So I'm using a big detail brush and using the hoover in the other hand. I'm sweeping all the dust into the hoover to try and remove as much of the sand that I can get. Moving down to the centre console, I'm going to do the same technique with the brush and hoover and try and sweep up as much of the dirt as I can. Then I'm going around underneath the handbrake, the handbrake handle, the roof button, the gear stick, the cup holders, all that stuff, just hoovering that as much as I can before going in with any cleaning and stuff.
I'm using this all purpose cleaner by Valet Pro to clean all of the dash and the centre console. I'm going to spray it directly onto the cloth and then wipe it off. Here's a little bit of a stubborn bit, so I'm just going to spray the cleaner directly onto it and then use a brush to try and agitate it. But that only worked a little bit, I did have to use my finger to wipe it up, but I'm going in with a cloth afterwards to try and dry it off and wipe up any dirt. For the stereo area, I'm spraying the cleaner directly on and then using a brush to agitate and a cloth to wipe dry. For the steering wheel, I'm going to spray directly onto the brush and then onto the steering wheel and then wipe dry with cloth. Now back down to the centre console, I'm going to spray everything over and agitate with a brush and wipe clean again. Also sorry for the out of focus shots, uh, the camera was focusing on my hair and then it switched to the wide lens which is broken and full of dust. So sorry about that, it's a bit of an awkward way to film. For the gear stick area, I'm putting the car into gear to stretch out the lever so that I can clean it properly and wipe it dry. For the cup holders, it's the same technique, spray in, brush, and then wipe. Also, sorry, my head kept getting right in the way. Usually I'd finish up by wiping everything down with Puro 3. I was very, very lazy this time, so instead, I'm going to take the Fresh Cherry Blast by Chemical Guys and just spray that down so that my car smells nice next time I get in it. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you in my next one.